Hello and welcome to Random Things, this is Ty. And for today's video, I'm just gonna do a quick demo on switching out the rear freewheel cassette on the Jupiter Defiant. Now, on the Defiant, it comes standard with a 1428, meaning the smallest gear in the back is a 14 tooth and the biggest gear is 28. And what happens is when you're on pedal assist mode four or five, you cannot actually keep up with the motor um, rotation. And so you end up like freewheeling. So you're not putting any kind of resistance. Um, to change that, you can change out the rear cassette to a 11 by 28. That's what I have here. And I'll put a link below. I just bought this on Amazon. It's about 30 bucks. Um, and changing this out hopefully will allow me to not freewheel um, in pedal assist mode four and five, um, and it will help me, I guess, get in some exercise while running at that speed. Now, if you see some of my other videos, you saw that I actually have changed out this cassette for my electric XP. So I'm just doing this real quick again for my Jupiter Defiant. Now, one thing I had said on the electric XP is I was hoping that changing out the cassette will allow me to go faster. Well, what I'm finding out is that's actually not the case. What happens is the motor is kind of designed to rotate at a certain speed, say 24 miles an hour at pedal assist five. Um, but in order to achieve that 25 miles an hour, it's gonna give it a certain amount of current or amps. When you are freewheeling, meaning that you're not helping the motor out, it's giving it the maximum amps it needs to, to kind of achieve that rotation. When you have a smaller cassette and you're able to actually help the motor, what happens is you're not necessarily gonna go any faster. What happens is you reduce the current draw. Um, and so you still go 24, 25 miles an hour, but instead of say drawing 10 amps, you're only gonna draw anywhere from six to eight amps. And what that does is it will extend your battery as you ride at that speed at 24 miles an hour. So. That's kind of what, um, what will happen if you change out the cassette. You will be able to uh, uh, get in a little bit more exercise at those higher speeds, um, which is kind of what I'm looking forward to do. I know that I can basically not pedal very hard going 12 to 15 miles an hour, but I like to go fast so that I can kind of keep up with the roadies, um, but actually still get in some exercise. And uh, so this is how I'm gonna do it. So keep watching, we'll get started. Okay, I just want to share with you real quick my setup. I got the bike propped up upside down on my table. I slipped some cardboard underneath the handlebars so that it's not actually sitting on the gear shifter. I did loosen the, the hex wrench bolt so that I can rotate the computer so it doesn't scratch. Um, I put some center blocks while it's sitting on the seat so that it keeps the bike from falling over when I put torque on the actual bolts. And what you'll need to do is you need to snip off these zip ties, undo this, and then so that you can start taking this apart. Um, you just need to make sure you keep track of how the bolts come off so that you know which bolt and washer and in what order. So we'll probably start on this side because it's a little easier. You don't have to deal with the wire. And so we'll start with the brake side. To remove the cassette, you'll need a cassette removal tool. I picked this one up at REI. It's about eight bucks, nine bucks for tax. Um, so the way it works is, uh, if I can take this out. Simply, you slide it through and you got these little, little teeth and they slip into the groove.
So once you have the wheel on there, you want to make sure that your derailleur is adjusted. So you want to cycle through all your gears. Uh, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come back down. There you go. So that was a real quick video on how I changed out the rear cassette on my Jupiter Defiant. Again, the point of doing that exchange is so that I have a smaller final sprocket, seventh sprocket. And what that does, again, is so that when I'm pedaling in high um, pedal assist modes, like pedal assist four and five, and going about 24, 25 miles an hour, I want to be actually pedaling in the motor assisting me as opposed to the motor doing all the work. And what that will do is that will extend my ride because it will extend my battery by me not having to draw as much current. And then I can ride a little bit further. So rather than maybe only getting 25 miles to a, to a battery charge, I can maybe get 30 miles um, at pedal assist four and five with the smaller pocket. Now, quick correction. In the video at one point I said, you know, beware of how you take out the bolts, the bolts. Um, I meant the nut, so please forgive me for calling it the wrong thing. Um, it was the moment thing. So with that, I hope you found the video helpful and you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and share. Um, and if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. That would really help me out. And as always, thank you for watching and cheers.